Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Chairman DeBear. Uh, my name is Henry Vassell, Vice President of the Chamber of Commerce here in Rocky Hill, Liaison to Economic Development. Uh, I'm excited tonight because we have a new business in town, which you know, I'd like to introduce to you and uh, let you know a little bit of what they do. It's Kathy's Urgent Care. Uh, in just a second, I'm going to introduce you to Dr. Uh, Tom Brown. They do everything from uh, flu care, flu shots, colds, paper cuts, open heart surgery. It's, no, they don't do that yet, but they did do a kidney transplant, which they were terribly excited about. I should have sent Ray to see these, you folks today. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, from, you know, bruises to cuts to flus, um, they do department physicals, CDL physicals, a lot of exciting stuff. But I'm going to let Dr. Tom Brown let you know everything they do. And without further ado, Dr. Tom Brown. Well, Henry just sold my business better than I can. <laughs> uh, Ray is apparently not feeling well, but he could have come by. And I may or may not have been able to help him out. Um, <clears throat> I heard someone say they're moving to West Hartford, where I reside. Top notch. I think your taxes are going to go up a little bit. <laughs> um, so the, the, uh, we, we moved in um, to Town Center West, which Rich Vecino, I think most of you folks know, has done a wonderful job with. And we're next to Starbucks and Chop Salad and Town Center West Plaza. And Carbone's opened up a few weeks ago. And things are going great. The town's been extremely uh, supportive. Uh, I have really n no complaints. Um, and, and yeah, we're, we're an urgent care center. Folks are becoming more and more educated about urgent care uh, facilities these days because you could have the best doc in the world. Hopefully most of you guys have a really good primary care physician, but if you got sick right now, you know, he or she is home and you know, you, you can't see them or a Friday afternoon or a Saturday or Sunday, that sort of thing. So the urgent care model is taken off because uh, we're a consumer driven society. Um, so if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer, but I just wanted to uh, thank you uh, for the support and uh, and to allowing us to do business in, in Rocky Hill. Doctor, would you introduce your, your two cohorts here? So my lovely wife, uh, Marva Beckford, and uh, Rich Vecino's wife, Sue Vecino, who has taken over as my sort of marketing director, and I suspect Rich put her on me because she has so much energy that he wants her to be slightly fatigued by the time she gets home. <laughs> So she's doing good grassroots movement, going to Westside Market, going to all the local stores, and introducing Kathy's Urgent Care um, to the to the town. So we've been quite pleased. Great. Well, on behalf of the chamber, well, uh, the chamber. Sorry, Henry. On behalf of the economic <laughs> economic development commission and the chamber, because I used to belong to that too. Welcome. Thank we you. wish you well. Are there any questions from any members of the commission? Yes. Hi. Madam Vice Chair. Hello. Hi, I'm Sharon Mounds, Vice Chair. Welcome. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, how many employees do you have? Well, that's a good question. We have two clinics now, uh, Weathersfield and Rocky Hill, technically the same business. <laughs> believe it or not, I can't believe this. Um, we have about 26 employees, which to me is huge. Uh, of course, to a lot of people, that's nothing. But um, we have about 26, and we're hoping to open up a third clinic uh, in the next four to five months in Berlin, Connecticut. So. How many doctors? I'm the only doc right this second. Uh, I have you know, six or seven or eight APRNs and PAs, physician assistants. And as our model expands and as we, frankly, become profitable, I'll bring on more docs to help out. So. And how long have you been in Weathersfield? Weathersfield, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh, and that clinic is doing quite nicely. Uh, Rocky Hill, which just opened six months ago. And as you know, the Town Center West as as beautiful a site as it is, it's still kind of under construction, so it's a bit of a construction zone still. So that one's taken off a little more gradually. And every town is different. Rocky Hill is a little different than Weathersfield, and so we have to find our, our niche here. But but we're doing fine. So you know that you're on TV and live right now. So this is sort of free advertising for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> What are your hours, and how do, or how does a, a, a person contact you, the organization? I'm sick today, what do I do? Oh, this is fantastic, thank you. Wow. I forgot about the TV aspect of it. Um, <clears throat> so, kathysurgentcare.com. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 8 p.m., uh, and weekends, 8 to 5. Uh, the telephone number's on the website. It's a walk-in, so you just literally walk in. You don't 
and can't make an appointment. You just walk in. There's usually no more than a five, ten minute wait to see either the doc or the APRN or PA. Uh, and it's it's in and out, good customer service. We pride ourselves on being a beautiful facility, state-of-the-art technology. We have x-ray in-house. We have an uh, in-house lab. We check for flu, mono, all the good stuff that's going around these days. Do flu shots. I think Sue got herself one tonight for free, I think. Um, <laughs> So, um, yeah, you know, so we try to do our share of preventative medicine as well. Um, um, I used to be a primary care doc, so that's important to me. So this time of year, as you guys know, the next few months, bronchitis, pneumonia, flu, all that good stuff. So that's what we help out with. And uh, for the public again, what type of insurance do you take? We take everything. And I kind of proud, uh, pride myself on this because... The business model gets hurt a little bit by taking Medicaid, I won't lie to you, but you know, I thought it was the right thing to do. So we take Medicaid, state insurance, Husky of course, uh, we take Medicare, we take virtually every insurance there is offered in Connecticut, um, and um, the vast majority of people, as you know, have insurance. And the, the 5 to 10% of patients we see who don't have insurance, we have extremely competitive uh, rates compared to other urgent care facilities, and we do that because one, we want the business, and two, you know, it's 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 you know, it, it's it's a good model for having people come back. I'll shut. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <coughs> um, yes, um, <coughs> Marty Stiglick, um, do you, uh, are you equipped to? Uh, I'm sure that you're equipped to take X-rays of you know of bones and stuff like that. Uh, who reads your x-rays? Do you have a PA assigned to that or, or a physician? So that's a good uh, question. Um, we have a formal relationship with uh, a radiology company. So U.S.-based radiologists officially review every film. Okay, all right. Um, I take a look at them, and over the years, I've become reasonably competent at it. But every film gets a second look and an official look by a radiologist. Okay, great. That's a good question. We do a lot, actually a fair amount, five to 10% of our patients are sports related injuries, ankle sprains, all that good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Broken <laughs> wrist, <laughs> smashed wrist is what they called it. Yeah. You know, so uh, it, it's a question that I ask because <laughs> I want to know where I'm going and what's <laughs> gonna happen. I mean, I mean, frankly, I was a primary care doc for years and the urgent care facilities are very expensive to open up because we need a defibrillator on site, we need an x-ray technician, we need a whole slew of staff that a primary care doc's office doesn't have. Um, so this is not me in any way, shape, or form. I have the highest respect for primary care docs, but they don't have the same x-ray on site, lab on site, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so the urgent care facility, a good 75 to 85% of folks who might otherwise go to the emergency room can actually be uh, uh, taken care of at, at right. an urgent care facility. At, at least, at least helped temporarily yeah. and referred to the right doctor. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. To do the surgery and stuff like that. So the the, edu uh, the, the population is becoming educated because really, mm -hmm. it's ten to fifteen years old urgent care medicine. Um, there may be a few of you on this committee that has never been to an urgent care facility. I don't know, but not everyone is real familiar with them. No, uh, they, they really aren't. My uh, my nephew is a uh, is a surgeon. He's a transplant surgeon <laughs> down in Louisiana and to, at, at Tulane. Actually, teaches there, but um, he has a part ownership in a few of those. And you know, it's something that's it, it's it's a growing model. It's a growing model, and you don't have to. I mean, I'm lucky. All my doctors are here in town, you know, so they'll see you on a moment's notice if they're there. But if they're not there on a weekend, uh, you know, uh, it's a pleasure to know that you can just walk in off the street and, uh, you know, get help. Uh, just maybe one or two more questions. Are you associated with any hospitals? Right now, we're not associated with any hospitals, which I think is a good thing. I have very good relationships with St. Francis, Trinity Healthcare now, and Hartford uh, Healthcare. I'm torn, frankly, between whether or not we want to formally associate ourselves with a big hospital or not, because if someone comes in sick or they have chest pain, we're worried about a stroke, you know, there's no bias. We just say which hospital do you want to go to, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Or if they're really, if we're really concerned, of course, legally speaking, they have to go to the closest hospital. 
but because we have tight relationships with 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 the uh, local hospitals, we're allowed we're, we're able to do a variety of things. For example, if someone comes in at seven o'clock at night on a Friday night and they have a concussion and we want to get a CAT scan of their head, instead of sending them to the hospital emergency room and w them waiting twelve hours and paying several thousand dollars, <clears throat> we can send them to. We have arrangements to send them to either the hospitals to get. Um, uh, a CAT scan in the outpatient radiology department, and within 30 minutes or 45 minutes, we have an answer. And if it's a bad answer, God forbid, which it rarely is, they get admitted right to the hospital. And 99% of the time, it's a good answer, and we save them a few thousand dollars and 10 or 12 hours of worrying. So, um, but the day may come where we affiliate ourselves with a hospital for a variety of reasons. Um, so it's hard to predict. So you're the only doctor with two of the clinics and maybe a third one. Do you envision more doctors? Or, Absolutely. Or does this model rely more on the PAs? Or? Well, so these are all good questions. The vast majority of urgent care clinics work primarily with what's called mid-level providers that most of you probably are becoming familiar with. For example, if you want to see your primary care doc because <clears throat> you have bronchitis um, and you can't get in that day, you may or may not see his or her physician assistant or APRN. Um, and so most of these urgent care practices uh, depend on these mid-level providers, APRNs, PAs, to the do, you know, and then consult with us physicians for the trickier, uh, um, in, in no arrogance intended, but uh, for the more complex cases. But as I grow, I'd like to increase the ratio of physicians to mid-level providers for a variety of reasons, and some of them, frankly, uh, to take some of the burden off me. And just one more. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I find this fascinating, and so does the public. Uh, are you more involved in the management of the bi operations of the business, or are you involved in day-to-day health care? <sighs> I, I side because uh, both. So for the first, we've been open two and a half to three years in Wethersfield, and for the first two years, I did almost nothing but see patients, but still ran the business. So I wore a lot of hats. In the last six months since we've opened up Rocky Hill, I'm, I'm wearing more of a businessman's hat, still answering the phone 20 or 30 times to answer medical questions, but trying to run two businesses. Um, and so uh, I, ha I find myself in a little bit of a identity crisis, if you will. Um, but it's a nice mix, though. It's uh, it's a 50% medicine, 50% business uh, at this point in time. If I'm able to hire more docs in the years to come, you know, my true passion is seeing patients, and that's that's my call on taking care of patients uh, instead of being a businessman. Not that there's anything wrong with being a businessman. So we shall see. Thank you. Mark, uh, Mark Walworth. I, I have a, a question about how you're uh, coded by uh, insurance companies. For example, if I'm doing a copay, they don't specifically say urgent care. Uh, they say some copays this much and then specialist this much. Are you considered a specialist? Are you considered a PCP? I mean, how does that work with the... Uh... So more and more, <clears throat> Um, I'm tempted to pull out my wallet and look at my own insurance card. <laughs> I, I, I really am, because I think it actually says walk-in clinic on mine now. Okay, it does But not. what, you're correct. The traditional model, though, is primary care copay might be zero, ten dollars, thirty dollars. Specialist is probably fifty dollars. To go to the emergency room, the copay is a hundred dollars. What the insurance companies are realizing is, believe it or not, well, it, it's, it's, it's kind of intuitive, but most of the time, it's much less expensive to go to an urgent care facility than to the hospital, to the emergency room. Sure. And so they're making the copays much more expensive to go to the hospital. And shockingly, and whether it's good or bad, I'm not even going to get into that, they're actually decreasing the urgent care copays because they're finding the cost of seeing the, the urgent care facility in some cases is less than seeing the primary care doc because the primary care doc has to refer out to get the x-ray, refer out to get the labs, refer out, you know, see the patient again in a few days. It has to do certain things that the urgent care facility doesn't necessarily have. That's a long-winded answer to your question, but what I'm getting at is over time, the insurance companies are decreasing the co-pays. For example, the vast majority of folks who come to see me now pay a $20 to $25 copay. That's all I need. Everybody set? Okay. Doctor, thank you very, very much thank for much. the presentation. Uh, a lot of good information there. Huh? 
hopefully a lot of people will pick up on this as they watch it. Thank Henry? You, Couple more comments. I, so I want to just remind everybody: it's Kathy's Urgent Care, located at Town Center West. And like Dr. Brown said, it's been open for about six months now. So it's probably one of the most modern medical groups in the area. And uh, speaking from someone who has gone to urgent care, for those who aren't familiar, uh, not long ago I thought I broke a bone and I didn't want to spend the afternoon in the emergency room. I went to an urgent care. An hour later, I was back to work. So it's something that can really streamline the process, whether it's sports injuries, we have a lot of kids in lacrosse, soccer, so forth and so on. It'll get you in and out and back on with your lives. And great people, modern facility, Town Center West. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks, Henry. Thank you.